Humans have always sought ways to alter their consciousness. We reach for substances to relax, to socialize, to explore our inner selves and to deal with pain. Three categories dominate this landscape, ethnobotanicals, alcohol and pharmaceuticals. Ethnobotanicals derived from plants and used for centuries by indigenous cultures include substances like psilocybin mushrooms and ayahuasca. Alcohol, a fermented beverage, needs little introduction, deeply woven into the fabric of many societies. Pharmaceuticals developed in laboratories offer a range of options from painkillers to antidepressants. Each category offers distinct effects, benefits and risks. User reviews provide valuable insights into these differences, painting a picture of how individuals experience these substances in their lives. These personal stories are crucial in understanding the nuances of each substance beyond clinical trials and societal perceptions. User reviews highlight a stark contrast in the positive effects experienced from ethnobotanicals like psilocybin and ayahuasca compared to alcohol. Individuals often describe their experiences with ethnobotanicals as deeply introspective and emotionally healing. They report gaining profound insights into their own minds, confronting past traumas and experiencing a sense of interconnectedness. Alcohol, on the other hand, is often associated with numbing effects. Users may initially experience relaxation and reduced social anxiety. However, these effects are often short-lived, and excessive consumption can lead to negative emotional states like anger, sadness and regret. When it comes to physical health, user reviews again reveal a stark contrast between ethnobotanicals and alcohol. While ethnobotanical use can come with its own set of physical sensations, these are often viewed as temporary and manageable, even a necessary part of the healing process. One of the most striking differences lies in the after effects. Alcohol users are all too familiar with the dreaded hangover. Nausea, headache and fatigue are common complaints. This is a stark contrast to the experiences of many ethnobotanical users who report feeling refreshed and energized after the experience, even if the experience itself was challenging. Long-term health consequences also differ significantly. Alcohol's impact on the liver is well documented. Excessive consumption can lead to fatty liver disease, cirrhosis, and even liver failure. While more research is needed on the long-term effects of ethnobotanical use, preliminary findings suggest a lower risk of such severe organ damage. Section 4, The Chains of Addiction, Comparing the Potential for Dependence. Addiction potential is a major concern with any substance use. User reviews provide valuable insights into how addictive each category is perceived to be. Alcohol's addictive nature is well known, with millions struggling with alcohol use disorder. The physical and psychological dependence it can create makes quitting extremely challenging for many. Ethnobotanicals, on the other hand, are generally not considered physically addictive. While psychological dependence is possible with any substance, especially if used to cope with underlying mental health issues, ethnobotanical users often report feeling less of a pull towards compulsive use compared to alcohol. Section 5. Mental health matters deep insights versus temporary relief. Mental health is another crucial aspect to consider. User reviews reveal distinct differences in how ethnobotanicals and pharmaceuticals affect mental well-being. Ethnobotanicals like psilocybin and ayahuasca are increasingly recognized for their potential in treating conditions like depression and anxiety. Users report experiencing deep emotional insights, leading to long-term relief from their symptoms. These substances seem to help individuals process trauma, reframe negative thought patterns and develop a more positive outlook on life. Pharmaceuticals, while offering relief for some, are often associated with side effects and a dependence that can worsen mental health in the long run. Antidepressants, for example, can take weeks to show effects and many experience unpleasant side effects. Section 6 Navigating the Terrain Side Effects and Legal Considerations Despite the potential benefits reported by users, it's crucial to acknowledge the potential downsides and legal complexities surrounding these substances. 
Ethnobotanicals can induce intense experiences, sometimes characterized by fear, anxiety or nausea. However, these effects are often seen as temporary and an integral part of the healing process. The legal status of ethnobotanicals varies widely. Psilocybin, for instance, remains illegal in many countries. This legal ambiguity poses challenges for research and access, forcing many individuals to seek these substances through unregulated channels, increasing the risk of encountering adulterated or misidentified products. While alcohol remains legal and readily accessible, its impact on individuals and society is undeniable. From health problems to accidents and violence, the costs are significant. Pharmaceuticals occupy a complex middle ground. While tightly regulated, their overuse and misuse contribute to a growing opioid crisis. Ultimately, the choice of how to alter our consciousness is a personal one. User reviews provide valuable insights into the diverse experiences and risks associated with ethnobotanicals, alcohol and pharmaceuticals. As we continue to explore these options, open and honest dialogues about their effects, both positive and negative, are crucial to making informed decisions about our well-being.